Hey YouTube, it's me B3, uh, by myself, alone, back with another kicking graphic novel review. Oh, holy shit, there's someone else here. Call the cops! <laughs> hey, this is Maddie Matt. What does this mean on your planet? What does this mean on your planet? <laughs> so fucking funny. Yeah, but uh, today we're taking a DC break. We went to see Power Rangers 2017. Oh, guys, it was so fun. A chief film, an ace film, even. That's how they should have done Transformers, with the character emphasis, and it was just a really good movie. I have to say, I have not been a Power Rangers fan since I was young enough to accurately spell the word obsessive. Your balls hadn't dropped yet. Would probably, that? that's actually probably pretty And legit. have they dropped now? Let's check, actually. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they have. Why am I, why am I, why, what's, what's all this saliva, dude? I'm drooling. I'm thinking about that guy. Just kidding. I'm filing for sexual harassment. Do it, dude. <laughs> Try it. I got video evidence. I'm going to send someone after you. I know a guy who knows a guy who knows a guy who lives in Chicago that makes people disappear. That's what my grandpa used to tell me. <laughs> Good stuff. Man. Well, um, I have to say, as a movie, as a standalone movie, can we talk about the movie first? Yeah, let's talk about the movie. Just right. real quick, because I already did a video about the movie on my B3 Productions channel. I'm just follow up, because like normal reviewing comic books... Uh, He's been following us for years, and I have not, but I am the new perspective on this, I suppose. Yeah, I've been watching Power Rangers since... Ever. Yeah. Pretty much. <laughs> since you walked out of the womb, right? Since it's been on, since, you know, it and I have been on at the same time. Uh, 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 um, Power Rangers a little older than me, so I've been watching Power Rangers for 22 years. Yeah. I have not been. I have been watching Power Rangers. I watched it briefly uh, when I was probably back in 2004. Dino Dino Thunder. Thunder. Dino Thunder. <laughs> I know the years. That was really an impressive discussion earlier. I looked it up later actually to make sure you were right and you were. It was scary. Boom. So, Dino Thunder was the only thing I really watched. And I remember watching plenty of it before going to church on Sunday morning. <laughs> Wait. Not Power Rangers. Yeah, I figured. <laughs> I knew where I was going. Um, so, but I haven't really touched it since then. So, it's been 13 years probably. 13, 12, 13 years since I last saw anything Power Rangers. And I love the heck out of this movie. It did well as a standalone. It was character-oriented, ca emphasized characters, their interactions, which I really find the most fascinating out of most media. Um, and really, the action didn't exist much beyond some rather amusing training sequences until the end, the big final battle. And once they get their powers in entirety, it's mostly action from that point. Yeah. But, I, but it's I'm very, like, still a lot of emotion, dude. Because they took the time to set up good characters and character development and character interaction before throwing the fireworks and the fireballs and the giant like, yeah. robots around. And they really understand what Power Rangers is about. Teamwork, diversity, all that junk. Corny-ass action. And Which sentiment. wasn't even corny in here. It, it was pretty, really, Like, Rita? Rita was Rita? actually pretty genuinely terrifying. Like, she's think. the reason I wouldn't take kids to see this. <laughs> Yeah, she She's literally ripped scary. and killed a dude and ripped his ripped teeth his, out for his gold. Ripped his whole jaw out. Yeah, his jaw made it made a, a staff out of his jawbone. Yeah, but that's just a short what we thought of the movie. Now, Power Rangers Aftershock is the sequel graphic novel. Nothing too crazy happens in it because you know they want to save villains and yeah. stuff, and they don't want to have to worry about continuity when they're making a movie. Uh, so this was more oriented around again that team interaction, how they function. It seemed yeah, to be. it's about. Uh, Jason's insecurity, Red Ranger's insecurity as, as the leader. leader. Yeah. He doesn't know what to do. Uh, Black obviously wants to be, Zack obviously wants to be the leader. Yeah, he's always kind of, <laughs> I, you can kind of see that that personality conflict coming in the movie. Zack is very much over the top, adrenaline junkie, runs straight forward into it, don't listen to anybody kind of thing, doesn't take instruction well. And uh, Jason's the leader, so they're going to butt heads. Yeah. If you don't take instruction well, you and your leader are not going to get along. But, uh, he's very, he has a very, he's very calm. He keeps his head pretty level <laughs> all the time, and I think that's his best quality as a leader. Yeah. Is that he can, he can remain calm in these situations. Agreed. Uh, but this book, it's by Boom Studios, that's the comic publisher that does it. They also do the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers comic series, currently. One of the best series I'm reading or ever. There are very few series that I get the single issues of and would also get graphic novels for. And you would for this one. Yeah, there's uh, New 52 Batman, Superman Unchained, Godzilla Rules of Earth, and Boom's Mighty Morphin Power Ranger Run. 
Okay. I'm sure at some point I'll read those. You will... You have New 52 Batman right up there. I already put it up there for you, so you... <laughs> you already got volume one up there. I got two, three waiting for you, and all the Joker tie-ins for Death of the Family. You're so. really excited about that. You're welcome. <laughs> you are the best. When yeah. you aren't sexually harassing me. Yeah, the art's really good. It's really the... Same quality art. I don't know if it's the same creative team because I don't remember the creative team for Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. But uh, it really looks just like it except it's darker. Visually. Uh, Which is not a bad thing to me. No. And uh, there are these like two juvenile delinquents, a brother and sister. And they kind of end up fusing with these leftover putties. Because the Goldar just sinks into the ground, and there's all these kind of putties just roaming around. The Power Rangers are cleaning up, and they fuse with some of the putties in Goldar dust on accident. And so they can, like, they have Goldar's memories, which is kind of helping drive them, and they're already, you know... Juvenile like, delinquents. Yeah, because they were, like, you you would be too if you had their life. They're, like, raised on the, on the street, mm -hmm. and no one cared about them. Yeah, no, I'm going to start lashing back the world in that kind of situation. Yeah, and so they end up being able to control, you know, rocks and shit. And he, they, I mean, and they, they do a good job of making being a rock person not look stupid. Yeah. Just saying from an art perspective. <laughs> they become like this big rock monster for a little bit. Gotta fight the Zords, Megazord, etc. But, uh... Very much a classic Power Rangers plot line. Yeah, it's pretty It's pretty normal. They can't beat it on small size, so the thing goes big size. They go, okay, Megazord time, and they go big size, and then they duke it out in the Power Rangers way. Oh, you were right. We weren't sure if the Mastodon had six or four legs. Eight. Or, or eight legs. <laughs> four eight. on each side. My bad, man. It's got uh, eight. It, it was eight, because I, I picked up the action figure, and I looked at it, and I was like, oh, there are eight legs. I thought it just had a tail. It was legs. You were right. Uh, fucking casual. <coughs> fucking casual, dude. Ass. I still, I still don't twice. know that I like the idea of the Mastodon with eight legs, because then it's a beetle. Yeah. With the that's, that's eight like, legs, the horns point forward, not curving down like tusks. It's a beetle at this. Point. That's such a twenty-year fanboy complaint. The guy's been watching the show for twenty-two years has no complaints about that. The guy who watched it for one year and saw this movie. As the complaint. I just... You didn't even watch Mighty Morphin, really. I did. But Back not, in the day, it wasn't like... Uh, have you seen all three seasons? No, I have not. Have you seen the same time? Uh, no, I Me haven't. either. But I've seen all three seasons. <laughs> <laughs> so what you did there. I mean, I remember Mighty Morphin from being a kid, and I... But... Part of the... F at least it seemed to me that part of the fun was that, yeah, they had taken the shape of Earth's most powerful creatures, and a giant eight-legged beetle thing is not the world's most powerful creature. What you should be complaining about is, is how the Megazord is... look. No. Yes. <laughs> oh, oh, no, you mean the, the, oh, the, yeah. the full-size Megazord look. Yeah, the giant galaxy thing. Like, yeah. yeah, it looks kind of dumb. But what you should be complaining about is how the dinosaurs and prehistoric animals they copied weren't living in the same era so the Zords would have had to come to Earth Or how about the apart. fact that the Mastodon would have existed after they were what I buried just said? in Rock. I think yeah. that's what I just said. No, you said they came from different eras, not the, oh, part, about, yeah. not the part about them being buried in the you're Earth, right. yeah. then you're, Mastodon. You're saying the same thing as me, just yeah. more specific. We're agreeing violently. Yeah, the same with the saber-toothed cat. Violently. they call a saber-toothed tiger. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, they would have evolved after... After they the were buried in raw. Yeah. So at that point, why not just pick a modern animal? But, you know, fair enough. They're more powerful. Big things like that. Yeah, but this comic's good. Right? And it, it introduces is. this secret organization. I don't know how much of that's going to be kept up in the movies or whatever. Hopefully we'll get more sequel graphic novels. Maybe even a prequel graphic novel. They do prequel graphic novels for movies a lot now. And then there's also the preview at the end, which excited me a lot. Yeah, like the entire... I think... I don't remember if it's issue zero or issue one, but there's an entire issue of the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers book in the back of this. A whole issue. And it makes me happy because... It was good, right? It was good. <laughs> it was pretty it's good. Got, it's got Tommy. Yeah, it's set in the modern day, and it's got a more um, realistic feel to it, as realistic as comics can get. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, like, we are, of course, looking through, you know, a medium here, and a medium that is notoriously cheesy at times, and, and not in touch with reality. But it does a really good job. That's why it's cool, though. 
That's why we. That's why we read it. Everything that isn't real life is great because real life sucks. Except the new Fifty Two Superman book, dude. Can we talk about how bad it we was? We are not going back to this. <laughs> you have done this the last three episodes of this. We, I will. We will not continue to taint a completely different Fine. universe. We'll talk about it when we get to Rebirth. Superman. Yes, we will. Uh, yeah. We Control actually do you. have to read a little bit of New 52 Superman for the final days of Superman. Boring graphic novel. Look forward to it. <laughs> I'm all a quiver. Yeah! That's pretty much what I gotta say about it. It was very straightforward. Yeah, it's, it's pretty short. It's a pretty thin graphic novel. Uh, worth the cash? I'd say yeah. It's well written. Art's dank. If you enjoyed the movie, definitely go do it. Yeah, you, you won't lose, it, lose out any more money than you spent on the movie already. We went to see the movie just so he could read this graphic novel and to give me an excuse to see it again. And <laughs> frankly, I'm very glad that he shared this with me. And I enjoyed the movie enough that I probably would have pursued, if not these exactly, I would at least look for this kind of stuff online, which is probably not the next Cheater! <laughs> He, um, he means you would have just read the wiki or some shit. Something like that. Not illegally downloaded it, which no, I, don't I don't condone. I don't illegally download anything. Yeah, me either. But Wikipedia is totally fine. So. What? <laughs> What'd you say? Uh, but yeah, it's a good book. Check it out. It's very chief, very ace. Would you say it's ace? I give it chief. Chief? Chief. 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 Okay. Chief Keith. That's dope. That's dope that you think it's chief. Thank you. Oh. Do you think it's dope that you think it's chief, or do you think it's dank that you think it's chief? I'm not even going to, like, continue to entertain this <laughs> exercise in ridiculousness. But yeah, that's it. Power Rangers Aftonshock. Ryan Perrot. Lucas Wernick. Jo Jonah Joanna Lafont. <laughs> okay, so everyone who worked on this book has a weird-ass name. Pretty much. Um, if you enjoyed the movie, check it out. If you didn't enjoy the movie, mm, yeah, don't do it. You probably wouldn't anyways, but definitely. Yeah, I mean... They're not even watching this. They didn't enjoy it. If you didn't, re if you didn't really enjoy it, if you kind of walked out and went, eh, it was okay. You, you probably then you obviously the have no taste. The, you In probably... fact, unsubscribe, please don't. He needs all the help. <laughs> I need it. My ad revenue is nothing. So, it's cents, not dollars. <laughs> if you only had cents, you might be getting dollars. I might be getting that cash. Thanks for watching, guys. Like, comment, subscribe, share with everybody. Follow them on Twitter. Follow them on SoundCloud. Facebook. We have a Facebook page. Post oh. a lot of memes. Follow that bitch cubed Facebook page. There's exclusive videos on the Facebook page. Just little stuff I did with my phone. So. Perfect. Check that out, guys. Check that out, bitch. Ooh. Yeah. Rapping. <clears throat> this is Bitch Cubed. I'm Matty Matt. See you guys next time. <laughs> Stop calling me bitch to you.